Welcome to another episode of Cook with Jake and Joy. Super excited about this season seven. We've got some really fun things that we're making for you. I like. I was up all night just thinking about everything that we were going to make. <laughs> I was and not. You were not. <laughs> you were. So this recipe, this is kind of Jake's. Um, this is her thing. I mean, my, I, my contribution. Yeah. I didn't make it up. No. That's my Last season, we did a couple of things that were yours, like the salad and the scallops and that sort of thing. But well, those are really my husband's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, no, the salad wasn't. The salad. Yeah, yeah. Like, you actually know how to make that salad. Yeah. But usually, Jake's kind of riding on my coattails and just kind of being cute and who she is. And But this episode <laughs> is all her. I do not. I am her sous chef. And she actually stole this recipe from somebody. Yeah. But you added to it, right? Uh, sort of. Kind sort of. of kind yeah, of? Okay. Kind of. All right. Yeah. Tell us about it. So, yeah. So, it's interesting. But is while that you I, do that, I'm going to cut up potatoes. Okay. Okay? Because yeah. this is... This is What's the name of this recipe? This is this is chili cheese fries. And this is a vegan chili cheese fry, gluten free. Good for you kind. Yes. There's a lot. Yes. There's a lot of like chili of like cheese, like vegan cheese out there that's not very good for you. It's, it's pretty terrible for you. So this is actually um, all made from all plants. We're gonna make everything. We're not. Nothing is in front of you. Right in front of you. We're gonna make. We're gonna make the cheese right in front of you. And um, so I got this recipe, part of this recipe from the medical medium. If you guys are familiar Talk with Talk about medical with him. medium. So he, he um, is an intuitive, um, so he gets, he channels, he channels from, from the universe or God or whatever, and um, what, whatever. What, 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 whatever. whatever you believe in, um, what people need in terms of their health. Like if they have a health challenge going on, he can like pick it up. And then he gets readings on like what foods are best for people to be using. And then he has some recipes that he's created. And this chili cheese um, fry thing is, is when she told me things. about it, I'm like, this sounds terrible. She's like, how is this going to be good? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, she did not, she was not impressed, but the ultimate test is always feeding it to my husband. And if he likes it, it's like a really big deal. Cause he's very particular, um, about certain things. And he loved this recipe. So cool. we're I'm gonna, excited. Yeah. It's gonna be good. So the first thing we're doing right now is we're cutting up the potatoes to make the fries. So we, she's, I think we, I'm cutting she's them up. She's cutting them up I'm to make the fries. And uh, what we're going to do is, so we're, we've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. They're going to be in the oven for 20 minutes or so, so not, not too long. They're cut up like fries. They look just like fries. And then we're actually going to toss them. Do you want to, uh, are we going to do that on camera? Or? Yeah, give me that great big bowl. Because I like, I mean, you probably could just do this on the sheet. We're going to uh, cook these on parchment paper. And you probably, oftentimes, I used to make these potatoes, um, but I, I, didn't, I didn't do all this elaborate yeah. Shit that she's this bowl's do. a little overkill for these this amount of potatoes. Well, I like it, that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it because then you can get them all separate and stuff, and you can see yeah. if one of them's too big. But see how they see they look just like French fries. And yeah. I leave the skin on. She doesn't because is that because Alice doesn't like skin? Uh, yeah. But the skin, there's a lot of stuff in the skin that's really good for you. Yeah. So leave the so skin. You're, you're gonna do two to three potatoes. We're just doing one to show you. But you're gonna do two to three potatoes, and then we're gonna add a bunch of stuff that's gonna make these taste amazing. And, amazing. And not only will they make them taste amazing, but they're also when spices are. A lot of people don't realize that spices have tons of antioxidants in them. And the more different spices you can eat, the better for you. So what all are we gonna put in? So here? we're gonna put in a teaspoon. Well, we're gonna half. I it. never measure. We're gonna half it because you only have one potato in here. Yeah. So we're gonna do a half. Half a teaspoon of paprika. So I gave you a half a one. teaspoon. Just like so she's that. gonna make it up. She's gonna make it up. You can do whatever. Half you want. a teaspoon. <laughs> a, a half a tea. A, a quarter teaspoon of garlic. Garlic powder. Yep. A quarter teaspoon here. And this is just for one potato. So yeah. if you were doing more, you, you double it. Yeah. And I never measure anything unless I'm baking. Just that's just yeah. how I Half am. a teaspoon dried oregano. Oh, do we want to show the camera? Open that. Oh. Show the camera. Dried oregano. Now, what would fresh? Fresh probably wouldn't work. Yeah, I don't think that would work. Through. Through. Yeah. Right. How much are we putting in? Uh, so. half a teaspoon, a lot less than that. Less than that? <laughs> and then a quarter teaspoon salt. Salt, you can never get too much salt. Well, actually you can. That is true. But the table salt isn't bad for you. It's the salt that's in the food. That's like when you buy canned stuff, that's when you want to start looking at sodium. Yeah. It's not when you put salt on stuff and actually, cause salt is actually not bad for you. Yeah. So then okay. we're going to like, we're going to get these really nice and coated and all this stuff. And because the potatoes are wet, you don't need to put any oil on. Okay. So you don't have to put oil on. And what we want you to, we're going to, we're going to actually use parchment paper on the baking sheet. So again, we don't have to use oil. Let me yeah. have that sheet. Grab it. So we get them all nice and nice and, and mixed. Coated. coated. I like to use parchment paper, not just because you don't have to add any oil, but also because it doesn't stick to the pan and it doesn't like, it's not, it's a lot easier to clean. When you do it that way, let's do it so the camera can see it. And then you want the fries to not be, to have space in between them. To not them, touch each other. To not other. touch each other. So you don't want them to be laid on top of each other because you don't want them to get nice me. and crispy like fries. And don't if you have them stacked together, they're going to be, they're going to stay soggy. Stay away from me. <laughs> okay. 
Hey, I know. Well, a, well, just they, they hold have to on. See. I know. Well, they don't have to see the whole thing. I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. And make sure they're not touching because then they won't cook all the way. So you want them to get really crispy, just like French fries do. Yeah. And how long are we going to bake them for? So we're at 400 for 20 to 25 minutes. And you want to, you want to halfway through, you want to flip them because the, the underside gets stays soggy because. Oh it's really? Like, yeah. Huh. I didn't do this when I was practicing. I didn't flip them. They were, and they yeah, so maybe it worked good. out. So you can do yeah. whatever you want. I think that you can cook them for longer because I don't like having to have extra steps like that myself. Okay. I'm, I'm a lazy cook. Okay. And I bet some of you are too. Okay, let's put that in the oven. All right. Cool. Okay, what's next? So the next, we're gonna we're gonna be prepping for the, the cheese sauce. So yeah, this does not sound like doesn't cheese sound good. It doesn't, it doesn't sound no, like it doesn't cheese. sound good, but it's this actually really great. Like cheese. <laughs> so we're actually gonna steam a potato and a carrot. Doesn't that sound like cheese? To like, make cheese. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. So you're that's, gonna. That's like. Have you ever seen that that video? Of the guy yeah, the guy who makes, makes cucumber, cucumber pizza, pizza. <laughs> and it's just cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> the crust is made out of cucumber. And he puts cute he makes the sauce out of cucumber. Yeah. It's like, mmm, it's just like pizza. <laughs> That's what this sauce sounds like to me. It's not like that. It's great. Okay, but I already right. did that. Okay, I so, gonna, so, so you're, so you're going you're gonna to dice the potato and the carrot. You're going to steam it with a little bit of veggie broth. I don't think you need to steam to dice them. I, I did these okay. um, just in quarters, so it's up to you. Okay. But yeah. I just did them in quarters, and I, I put them in a... Um, you know, one of those steamer baskets yeah. and the carrots, and they're fine. Okay, so then you add it. Then you add it all to a Vitamix. So you steam the steam the veggies with a little bit of broth and water for 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 thirty minutes or so till they're, they're soft. <laughs> thirty minutes. If you diced them, that would be way too long. And that's what I did last time. It worked just really? fine. Really? Yeah. And, you did for 30 and then you take some of the hot, a quarter cup of the hot broth from what from your steaming, and you put it into the vitamins. A well. quarter cup. Quarter cup. Okay, let yeah. me do that. Let me do that. Let me I, use these cute little cups. Look at this cute little cup. Jake gave me these. It's adorable. It's adorable. It is adorable. And then we're gonna we're gonna add a bunch of different things to make it taste like cheese. <laughs> what? But no cheese. The only thing but that no tastes cheese. like cheese is cheese. <laughs> How can to it make be it like sort cheese? of taste like cheese? It doesn't. To be honest, it doesn't really taste like cheese, but it's awesome anyway. Okay. So it's just, it doesn't just, taste like cheese. To, to full transparency, doesn't taste like cheese, it but doesn't? it's awesome. It looks like cheese. It ends up looking like cheese, which I think is half of the is half. It's the half thing. the battle. Yeah. So I already made this. So we're yeah. just going to so take So we already have the hot broth. broth. I'm gonna put the broth into the just a quarter cup. Just that's a quarter it? cup. Yeah, let me just use all of it. No, 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 no. You're no? gonna make it. You're gonna make it too soupy. Oh, we can okay. add more. All if right. Want. Just all save right. it. No, save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. <laughs> <laughs> you're so difficult. Me. Okay. All right. Then okay. what do we do? So then we're gonna add a teaspoon of of uh, turmeric. Turmeric. Okay. I'm probably say gonna that. measure this because. Yeah, I don't want too much. Too much in there. <laughs> Is it like that? I don't think you can get too much turmeric. Is okay, really, that's good. That's turmeric good. is so good for you. They're making turmeric lattes now. They're so popular. Okay. Um, okay. What else? Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic powder. No, that's cayenne. Where's the garlic powder? Here it is. Okay. All right. Let's use some of that. We use that in the um, in the other thing too. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Half a teaspoon of cayenne. I, when I made it this last time, it was a little bit too spicy for my taste. Okay. I'll just do a so little. I'll do a splash. tiny bit because it gets. So I would do like a quarter teaspoon. This is a quarter teaspoon. Okay. No, is that a quarter? That's a half. So you half of that. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna do a You're table. You're such a baby about. I know. How, sweet I, I, how spicy things are. Yes. I know. And then a tablespoon of lemon, which I think you can kind of eyeball this if you want. Do you? I think so. Tablespoon of lemon. Okay, I'm gonna get these seeds out of this. Well, if you use that, want to do that? Um. Oh, I guess it does. Yeah. Now, one thing about the lemon juicer that people always tell me whenever they watch this, I did, I didn't realize that you don't put the lemon in that way. You put it in upside you gotta show, down. Show them. So you put it in upside down yeah, like no that. One, no one knew that. No one knew that. That's a, if it you seems counterintuitive. If you get nothing else out of our show. It's easy. <laughs> Just spray, spray. Yeah. Okay, I think that's about a tablespoon, you think? Sure. Okay. That's good. Okay, right. then we're going to do a teaspoon of salt. Where's the salt? Okay, I'll measure this. Okay, so I don't get too much. So I don't get too much of that. A teaspoon? Yep, teaspoon of salt. Whoops. <laughs> so we don't I'm get too much. I measured it and we still got too much. <laughs> okay, I'm some okay. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of, of pepper. That I'm not going to measure. You won't get too much pepper. 
Now, once again, I'm taking fresh pepper because the, the more you can have fresh stuff, the more you can grind it, the more antioxidants you're getting. It doesn't matter yeah. what you're talking about, whether it's spices. I mean, I use a grater sometimes when I do, use spices. Yeah. Is this that, is that, a, that black, pink, Himalayan sea salt No, pepper? this is not black, is that, that black, pink, Himalayan salt pepper. This is not pepper. I mean, this is not salt. This is, That's good. This is Himalayan salt, kosher salt, and this is um, rainbow. Hold it up. Yeah. This is rainbow peppers, so you're getting a really wide variety of peppers, Derek, which I know is important to you to get lots of antioxidants. Okay, is that everything? Yep, so then we're going to blend it. There's no gonna... chili in this. No, no. So we're going to blend it up, but we also need to start the chili, too. So, so should we start the chili first this, or blend Yeah, let's up? start the chili first. Okay, all right. So what are we putting in the all chili? All right, so we now we need, we need a pot. Now the chili you made up. The chili is made up. Okay. Just made and up. The pot's behind and you. And I always... What and I, don't call the pot black. What I, what I always feel like... calling what, the pot black. What I always feel like about chili is I always feel like chili takes like an afternoon to make. Like I feel like you need like a whole day I to make, make chili. Yeah. Because that's how I And so I never it. make chili. So then I, then I like, then I saw a similar recipe to this where it's like you just dump everything in and you heat it up. And I was like, that I could totally do. <laughs> do you do it in the Instapot or do you do no, it? No, I just do it on the stove. Okay. So you took my Instapot. Yeah, I did. Yes, so, you did. Yeah, so we're gonna we're going to saute some garlic and onion in the bottom of the in the bottom of the pot. Just and just chopped onion. Yeah, and just, just chopped and chopped garlic. Minced garlic. Yep. Okay. And then how and, much? Just uh, yeah, so just kind yeah of I don't have measurements on this. Okay. So you're gonna have All to right, just turn that sucker okay. on. Okay, and then you want me to open this can of tomatoes? Yep. Now both onion and garlic are fantastic for you. They have allicin in them. They've got they're antibacterial. There's so many things that, that garlic does. That sulfur thing that you get, like that, that's something happening in your body. And tomatoes, like you cannot get enough tomatoes if you are someone who is out in the sun. It's a natural protectant. The lycopene is fantastic. If you're a guy, it's a prostate protection. Even if you use canned tomatoes, even if you use ketchup. Even ketchup. When Ronald Reagan was president, ketchup was counted as a vegetable. And it actually did do just as much. Now, you like crushed tomatoes. I never use crushed tomatoes. Yeah. I usually use... Um, yeah, so you can do whatever... You can use whatever whatever you like. Okay, you so is that make. going in next? So that's going to go in next. Okay. You don't want to get this on your shirt. Your shirt's really cute. It's okay. Yeah, okay, then we're gonna Then we're going to have a, a can. We're going to do what? A uh, can. We do these little Tetra Packs of kidney beans well so many people and these one, days and also, aren't using bpa lining anymore yeah. so i don't know how important it is but these yeah are and then we're going to do a one of a uh, black bean as well these are the ones that we like so what we happened got to my scissors they're I right scissors here so we're going to do one can or one box of and you could use beans. any kind of beans you yeah. wanted i like cannellini beans myself because i like the color and i like to have it be varied but this is jake's recipe so we're doing it the way that jake wants to do and i'm assuming we have to drain these yes and rinse them yeah now it says you can tear this. I've never been able to tear these suckers. Do you need yeah. a boy to help you with that? <laughs> Maybe. You want to get the colander? I can see by the colander on the wall. Um, we'll use that one. And we'll drain those and rinse them. Once again, beans, so amazing for you. What do you know about beans, Bake? Um, they're a really great, great source of calories and protein if you're not eating animal products, which we do not. So that it's a way for you to um, for you to make sure you're getting enough. And the fiber calories. is unbelievable. So remember, we always talk about G-bombs, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds. In this recipe, you're gonna you could add greens if you wanted to. You're getting some greens from the from the um, from the spices that we're using, but you're definitely getting beans. You're getting onions, no mushrooms. Um, no berries and no seeds, but really pretty good dish for getting the G-bombs in. Yeah. So I've, I've also added mushrooms to this dish, too, so then you get really? the mushrooms in. But I, like, I like mushrooms in chili. Alex doesn't like much mushrooms very much, and so I don't I didn't, I don't always do that, but for, if I'm just going to have it myself, I've also actually cut up tofu and put it in here, too, which has been kind of, which has been interesting. How do you <laughs> eat that as a fry? i got to see how this so works you, you Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It. Okay. Yeah. Um, the uh, my recipe for chili uses mushrooms, and I I use that instead of meat. Yeah. And I really like the texture of that a yeah. lot, a lot. But I did that in another um, season, didn't I, Derek? Didn't I we make so. chili? Yeah. It's it's a really a great chili recipe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's so that's mixing up. I'm gonna um, blend. I'm gonna blend up the carrots and the potatoes for your supposed cheese sauce. I, yeah. I'm, well, I'm the, very and curious. There's about more this. things that need to go into the chili. We can oh, do. what else needs to so go? So we in? need to we need to put. So I need to actually make it taste good, right? Wait, did you put all the things in? Uh -uh. Okay, so we need to put um, chili seasoning. Chili seasoning, okay. Yeah, so chili we'll seasoning, about. there's a ton of different kinds of chili seasoning. And basically chili seasoning is going to have some kind of chilies, obviously, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
mind blowing. But like this, <laughs> this, this one is ancho chili, and it's it's. I don't know if it's a hundred percent just chili. Yes, it is. It's all just ancho chilies. Now this one is chili powder, and this has paprika, cumin, garlic, onion, black pepper, and cayenne in it. So do you, so, why do you need to add the other stuff? You don't have to. So we could probably just do that. Just do this. Just use that instead okay. of the instead of that, and we can add in. Yeah, that's all we need to do. And then this one. And then we need cumin. Is only this has one. cumin in it. It does too. Yeah. Okay. Has, yeah. Most chili powders do have cumin in them. Okay, so we're gonna so, use that. So you don't need to add anything Perfect. else. Perfect. If you what if about you, salt, it's got black pepper. We want to add some a little bit of salt, probably. Okay. All right. Yeah. So add that. Add I'm, a gonna, bunch I'm of just that. gonna make it up. I'm just gonna throw a bunch in there, and, we, and you can always add more if you want it to be more or more chili flavor. And you know, you're gonna find the chili powder that you like. When I make um, my chili, I really like to use um, Carol Shelby, and I didn't know that that was the actual. Did you know that that's the, the race car driver? Yeah. I, never, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I've been making Carol Shelby chili all my life. Not all my life, but a good portion of my life. And I didn't know that Carol Shelby, the race car driver and the race car creator, actually made that recipe. And I learned, did you see Ford v. Ferrari? I did. Wasn't that fabulous? Yeah. Loved that show. We saw it on Thanksgiving. It was fabulous. It was so good. Was it Thanksgiving? Uh, I don't day, remember. Yeah, it was the day yeah. after Thanksgiving. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it was fabulous. Okay, so can I, can I blend yep, this? So now we got can, everything now, in it? Yep, now I can blend that up. Okay, this is going to be loud. Okay, here we go. Okay, why don't you tell people about it while I do this? While it's loud? Uh, yeah, well, tell people why you like this recipe. Well, I... I, I <laughs> it kind of looks like cheese. See, I, that's what I told you. And that's how it becomes a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so this is the small um, uh, carafe that goes onto my Vitamix. If you don't have a Vitamix, we do not make any money off of Vitamix no. at all. But you need to have at least one Vitamix. A little tip about buying Vitamix: I got the professional version, which has a much higher horsepower motor. It doesn't have as long of a warranty on it, but it lasts longer because it's a higher horsepower motor. And you have the home version, yep. which is less powerful, but it's been great. They still works. They yeah. love it. Yeah. And they last okay, I gotta forever. Taste this. The, my, yes, you can see what you think. Don't put that back in there now, though. That's pretty good. See? It doesn't taste like cheese. I know. But it's, but well, it's I good. know. That's the thing. That's the thing. Look the at reason, that. Yeah. The reason I like this recipe is because I, I always like to, I, I like to make unhealthy things. <laughs> healthy versions of unhealthy things that I like and I thought this I saw someone post about this and I was like this sounds really good I'm gonna give it a try I have never liked chili cheese fries I mean that's never been anything that I've gone yum about yeah no they're good though okay, okay. all right so now how, here's how we're gonna set it up so we got our we're gonna like our bowl our bowl plate is that the cutest bowl we have I guess it I guess it yeah, doesn't need to be cute because it's gonna have so and then we and got we our, we have our we have our fries see how they turned the out crispy these beautiful are, fries these are so good they're so good now I didn't have to flip those and they are still really delicious. They are okay. So we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna put. Do do? I need a spatula. If you know if you're making this for other people, you don't want to put your hands on everything. But we don't care. So <laughs> if you care, if it bothers you, sorry about it. Um, we last season we had people who are not who are mad about us touching things. Really? Yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry about it, guys. We weren't. Our, our show is not for you. <laughs> Okay. We're Sorry. making it for us, and Derek, you don't mind if we touch it. Yeah, Derek you know. doesn't. Derek doesn't care if we touch it. If we touch it. That's so funny. Who told you that? that, that we got some comments on something. On YouTube. On Facebook. On Facebook. Did you delete them? I hope. Obviously. That's. Ridiculous. I actually, I actually said, you know, our show's not actually for everyone. Thanks so much for your comment. <laughs> that's what I said. All that's right. So that, you, that's so you, all you put in. Well, you can put. You can put as much as you want. Well, what do you generally do? I usually eat the whole thing. You do? You eat, you eat both two, two, two potatoes? No, usually not two. Okay, so then then we're gonna top. Then we're gonna put some some of the chili on. You want to show the the camera the chili? Why don't you bring it over? Let me stir it real quick, and then I will bring it over there. I hate that you're making chili in two seconds. That it takes me all day to make. I know. Can you see it? Yeah, it looks amazing. Let me see. Yum. Yep. Okay, so then we're gonna. Can you get the, grab that ladle? And we're gonna ladle, ladle some of this chili over. Oh, oh let's ladle, 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 ladle. ladle. <laughs> so we're gonna ladle this chili. Is that like yodeling, ladling? Yeah, totally. Is that ladle so, made out of clay? Is that no. How the song goes? So that's no. probably. <laughs> what? <laughs> so that's good. That's good. Is that good? Yep, that's is that good. enough? Yep. Wow, that looks great. And then you're gonna put. Then we're gonna drizzle some of that cheese over. Just drizzle. Top. This is a lot. You said it was yeah, way more yeah. than you need. Yeah, So you make way more, way more cheese than you have chili and fries. So, so maybe you just do a do half less a potato. Or yeah, perfect. Oh my god. Perfect. Look at that. Oh my god, this looks like. Does that look great? Doesn't it look like chili cheese fries? It totally looks like chili cheese fries, right? It does. Yeah. So do you eat them by hand or do you eat them with a fork? I use a fork. That is awesome, you guys. Look at that. I am a believer. So want, I can't so we, wait. 
Do you want to taste it while um, we're on camera? Okay. All right, I'm, I'll taste, taste it. Are you gonna do it with the fork? Are you gonna do it with your fingers? No, because we don't care. It's really good. It's not. The well, no. Chili cheese I know that's the thing. Is that the name is misleading? It's really good. It's really freaking good. We should just call it fry. We should call it cut up potatoes with tomatoes and beans. That's too, way with too long. Potatoes and carrots over the top. That's way too long. <laughs> it's delicious, Derek. You're gonna love this. This is really great. Yeah. So. Really super clean chili cheese fries. Don't expect it to taste like chili cheese fries. <laughs> but it is really good. Yeah, it's really good. And that's all we've got. We'll see you on the next episode of Bye. Liquid Jake and Joy. <laughs>